Hey friends and welcome back to our channel. We are officially married and honeymooning in Europe. Our first stop is the most romantic city in the world. Come spend 48 hours with us as we welcome you to Paris. Good morning vlog. Now that we are ready for the day, I can give a proper bonjour. We are staying in the Montmartre district of Paris. A bunch of people recommended this to us because it's kind of like a hip, young, happening area of Paris. There's so many cafes and shops. When we arrived in Paris yesterday, we arrived at noon and we pretty much had not slept in 24 hours. But one rule that we have had since we've been traveling together is that whenever you arrive in a new country, don't don't go to sleep until that country goes to sleep or at least something like that. If you've been watching our videos, you know that we are in Europe to do the Camino de Santiago, a walk through Spain. So that will be all of our future videos after this one in Europe. So I mostly have backpacking clothes, but I made sure to pack a cute little Paris outfit, sweater, and you know, this cute little dress, some platform tivas. <laughs> One thing that we make sure to always do when we're traveling international because we never get international phone plans, our phone is always on airplane mode and I make sure to download offline Google Maps so we can always get where we're going without a phone plan. For the Camino, we will get a phone plan, but while we're in Paris for a few days, no phone plan, offline maps. Why must I find the furthest breakfast place possible for us to walk to with the most stairs? We were walking for quite some time and we just stumbled across Sacre de Quere. I'm gonna write it on the screen, <laughs> I probably botched that. But there's all these love locks on the fence and we just bought one. Look how cute. So we gotta write something. 9 30 22. Forever locked upon this wall. Ready? Cute. I'm gonna put it right here. Because there's not as much competition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forever. Love it. We're getting kicked out. Everyone here. Look at this guy looking cute with his little wedding ring on. Okay, that breakfast was absolutely gorgeous, so delicious. Everyone we've met so far has been absolutely wonderful, lovely people, so maybe we can break the French stereotype. <laughs> but what we've been doing today is just the perfect example that a lot of times when you go to a new city or a new country, just walking around and eating local food and talking to people is sometimes even better than seeing monuments or museums. If we could recommend anywhere we visited that we've enjoyed, it's probably because we did a lot of walking around. Now off to the next spot. We just made it to the Palace of Versailles and Paris, so let's go on in. I've been dying to go here and I can't wait. We got the tickets to the Versailles Palace. It is also the garden access tickets and it was about 28 euros a person. So right now is actually an amazing time to visit Europe. For the first time in my lifetime, the Euro and the American dollar are the exact same. It's one to one. Last time I was here back about five, six, seven years ago, it was 1.4 US dollars for one Euro. So if you were ever planning on going to Europe, this is now the most affordable time to do so as an American. The weather here is kind of perfect. It's getting chillier, so we can wear, you know, a little sweater, but it feels much better than when people come here in the summertime and they're just sweating their arses off. Really? Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. One of the things I absolutely wanted to do while we are in Paris is go to the original Ladre macaroon shop. Macaroons are a Parisian dessert and they have, I think, a couple other locations around the world now, but this is one of the original ones. So I ordered raspberry and passion fruit. Let's do a little sample. 
Is it good? The raspberry is so bright. Tastes exactly like raspberry jam inside. Kind of like a crunchy, soft macaroon cookie on the outside. Try it. Oh God, that's so good. Wow, that's crazy. This is incredible. I'm shook. I'm gonna go down all one. Look at this. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I can't imagine the more beautiful thing. That's you. I always tell Sam he's my baby cherub. Another Sam quote. Some peeps are beyond talented. Talking about the artists of these paintings. I can't. As beautiful as these gardens are, which we could probably spend hours here, we actually have to go right now because we are only in Paris for just a few days and something we've been really looking forward to check off our bucket list is our next stop. So, let's go. That's the sea train. Side chain. Our first time using the public transportation in Paris, so it's always a little stressful when you first start. We successfully navigated ourselves 45 minutes on the train with the help of Sam's map and my eyeball skills. We just got off the train and we're like, where is the Eiffel Tower? I don't understand. It's right there. We could just we look it. up. We made it. Honeymooning in Paris. Happy to be here. Happy to be honeymooning. Now we gotta eat because I'm starving. So we made it to the Eiffel Tower, but we actually failed because we really wanted to find this big open grass field that we've been seeing a ton of people having picnics at. Alas, we cannot seem to find it. And we're getting a little frustrated and we're really hungry and we have no idea how to get back to the hotel because we have no service or anything. So we're gonna take a taxi, we're gonna do some research and we're gonna come back here tomorrow because our dream was to have a picnic with wine, with food at the Eiffel Tower. And I we're refuse. We're make sure that it happened. And we actually have something very special planned for tonight. So let's just cut to that right now. We're back. We came to this restaurant last night and we actually were so shook by it that we thought we have to go back or else we'll be dreaming about it forever. And the owner is bringing us shots. He did it last night too. I don't know. We made a good impression or something. Check out Chez Palo. It's in Montemarte, just a couple minutes from our hotel. It is literally the best Montemarte. pasta. Montemarte. Montemarte, sorry, Montemarte. And it's one of the best places that I've ever eaten, no doubt. Oh, We are literally bordering Italy right now. So the Italian food here is probably incredible. So that's why we are back here again. It comes alive at night. Oh my God. So many people have told us that Montmartre is the place to be, especially at night. And holy shit, they're not kidding. We have one mission on our mind this morning and it is to cross something else very significant off the Paris bucket list. So we'll take you there right now. I finally got my baguette. The pan gourmand, croissant type biscuit with olive, tomato, and cheese. There, check it out. <laughs> That wasn't as good as you thought, huh? It's objectively amazing. I'm just not like a big chocolate person, but whatever. I want to kiss the pastry chefs at Pan Pan, Pain Pain. Pain Pain. Promise you, our French is getting a little bit better, but work with us on this. But we're only here for a couple of days. Otherwise, we would try to learn a lot more French. We know. Oui, oui. Pardon. Bonjour. Pardon. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh no! 
know we just did that. I do gotta say French is the best language to hear people being mad in and cursing in. It's yes. so funny. It's like our Uber driver yesterday was intensely yelling at everyone in French and I was kind of here for it. So this is the coffee shop that we fell in love with on the first day that we arrived. This is the coffee shop that's right across from the oldest photo booth in France. Yeah. This is too much information, but there's no free public restrooms when you're in Europe, so we're running back to the hotel. Sam's gotta take a sh Just honeymoon things. Well, they haven't come yet. The baguette was fresh out of the oven and warm when we got it, by the way, so I cannot wait to eat that later. Also, can I just say how kind some of the servers are here? Anytime we don't fully finish like our drink or our meal, they seem to be so concerned and ask us if we truly liked it or not. They just have genuine care on our experience at the restaurants and cafes we've been to, and it's really refreshing and quite nice. It's another gorgeous afternoon in Paris, and we are headed to one of Paris's most famous attractions because as you know we're trying to do like a Paris bucket list before we leave tomorrow so this is one of them but we have another special surprise in store for tonight and let's take you along it's so French wait that was telling what the fuck is that what is it what is it? We are at the Louvre Museum, silent R. And if you don't know, that is the home of... The Mona Lisa painting. It's the most famous painting, I think, in the world, and it is such a gorgeous day. We're not gonna go pay to go inside the Louvre Museum, but we're just gonna hang out outside the famous triangle building that Kelly really wanted to see. The famous triangle building that Kelly wanted to see. <laughs> it's just like one of the biggest attractions in Paris. Also, we are young and we are backpacking for the next few months, so we don't necessarily want to shell out the money for every museum we see, even though this one is you know, quite iconic and famous. I'm so excited that we walked here and we saw so much on the way. And I'm telling you, walking around is the way to go. We have one question. Why is the Mona Lisa so famous? Aww, he's so dainty. It was in his tote bag era. to the Eiffel Tower right now and there's these guys that take like professional photos with this big stack of red heart balloons and they charge $10 a photo and of course I'm like we have to get that that's amazing so Sam's shaking his head like okay and so we just took the cutest photos in front of the Eiffel Tower here's the photo what do you think was that worth 20 euros I think so baguette in the sky we're in our baguette era right now so proud of how well we have navigated Paris's transportation. We've taken a train, a bus, Ubers. Taxis off the street. We've walked. It's always a little nerve-wracking taking public transportation when you're in a new city, but we've done a great job. We have, and we've actually gotten lost zero times. So I've actually been really proud of this. Zero so times. It's been an absolutely incredible 48 hours in Paris with my wifey, saying it on the channel. Mm. Oh my gosh, is that the first time? I think so. This is my Husband. wife. 
Are you happy I'm your wife? Yes, I am. Are you happy that I'm your husband? Yes. I cannot believe we're honeymooning in the most romantic city in the world. It's absolutely a dream and I'm so grateful that we are here and that we chose this as our first spot of our backpacking Europe trip because sooner than you think, tomorrow we are headed on a train to the tip of France to start the Camino de Santiago, a 500 mile trek through the country of Spain and ending in the city of Santiago. We are going to be pilgrims before you know it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see our adventures throughout Europe for the next couple of months, check it out here and we cannot wait to see you next time. Thank you so much for your support. I can't believe we're here. This is amazing. We love you guys so much and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.